Welcome to the Northeast Division Contest Spring. I'm glad you're all here. I think we have some pretty good quality, exciting contests to come up. My name is Dan Mandelovitz. I am the contest chair. I will be introducing the Toastmaster in a minute. I uh, just want to Sergeant Arms have secured the door. Uh, the rules will be read in a couple minutes. Uh, appreciate your cooperation, those who are uh, watching and, and cheering on your group. I'm going to start off with an inspirational message. Okay, this quote is from one of my favorite uh, authors, Frank Herbert. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it has gone past, I will turn my inner eye to see its path. Where the fear is gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. Toastmasters is about conquering the fear. And it's pushing past your comfort zone. And the folks who are competing here today are an example of that. It's what we aspire to in this group. And all of us have decided to join into this wonderful enterprise and be part of Toastmasters and all have self-learning. And to conclude, in the words of Nelson Mandela, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. A brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. This is Toastmasters. Let's begin the contest. I'd like to introduce our Toastmaster for the afternoon, Rhonda Armstrong. Hello everyone. Dan has already welcomed you to the contest, so we will just move directly into the contest. But before we do that, we actually have an announcement from our Oh, there he is. From our photographer, Tim. Just want to let everybody know that uh, all eight division contests have been taped. Since this is, this is the last one, you'll be able to see all eight in their entirety, minus a few opt-outs who of people who did not want their speeches taped. They should be available Monday or Tuesday. You'll be able to find them at www.timsvideo.com. Thank you.
to the summer. Since we've got a backpack, 
I think a pair of jeans, some shoes, shirt, tie, or maybe not a tie. <laughs> the other things that I would include, I think would be good to include a cell phone to let my family know uh, the situation that I was in. But at that point, I think with the credit card, I could move from my house to the clothing store, to the auto store, and to the downtown area where I could get all the possessions that I need. I didn't hear any restriction on the amount of money that was on that credit card, so I'm going to assume that I've got all the money that I need. It seems like possessions are, are, are so important to us, and I, I definitely would have to think about this a lot more, given more than one or two minutes. But credit card, a few clothes, enough to get me started, buying everything back is what I would do. sands of the Sahara that you can visit, the islands of Borneo, the North Pole even. How about some penguins in Antarctica? East-west, 
north or south. It makes no difference. As long as I've got that passport in hand, that's my ticket to freedom. And that's why I would want to have my passport as the only possession in my backpack. to the library. So I read about four or five books a week. I can't live without my books. And since and I can only put a few in a backpack, take my iPad, take my telephone, take my chargers, and that would fill the first pocket. <laughs> <laughs> then I would take this necklace, because this was from my grandmother. So I like to have her with me. I take my father's watch, he died a few years ago, and I take that with me. Then, this is the magic part. I would take, I don't have any with me, but I have this stuff at home, and it's called sprinkle dust, and it's magic. And I would put it all over all of my friends. And what it does, it's like those mushrooms you ate. <laughs> it makes you really small. So I could pick up all my friends, put them in my backpack, especially the ones that come with me here, and a few others, and I'd be fine.
And that's what the book of The Power of Now is all about. Appreciating what you have today. Not living too far in the future. Resisting looking behind you. And moving forward. So for me, it would be a backpack full of books. Madam Taylor, top of the
Madam Toastmaster, we have all bowed. And I invited my partner in crime, Oscar Lankford, to assist me. <laughs> How many of you have never been to a spring conference before? Never? Oh my <laughs> gosh. Well, you're in for a treat. For those of you who have been, it's normally pretty fun, right? Yeah. Right, yes. Yeah. We tend to have a lot of fun events, a lot of educational sessions, a lot of energy going on, right? Yes. yes. Well, this year, we have our 65th year that we're celebrating. District 30 is actually 65 years old, and we're going to take it back to the 1950s. So we're encouraging everybody to dress up in their 1950s attire. And I told Rachel I would actually dress up like Fonzie, and she would do. I would wear a poodle skirt. It's going to be cool. We're going to see whether he really dresses up like Fonzie. Don't really expect to see him. <laughs> I'm only going to do it if he dresses up like Fonzie. We have some great keynotes. Our keynote is Cheryl Rauch. She'll be speaking. And then we also have our international director. I don't say That's right. He'll be speaking too. I said he was my partner, right? right. He finishes my sentences for me. I love that about this guy. In addition to that, we're going to have some educational session. One of our own, Charles Benita, will be doing one. Woo! <laughs> then we also have some fun events. This year we're going to do something a little different. We have a Toastmasters Got Talent. Everybody's seen America's Got Talent, right? Yeah. Yeah, guess what? <coughs> Toastmasters Got Talent, too. We have a magic show, a singer, a dancer. Juggling. juggling or something. Oh, okay. I had somebody yodeling. I'm not joking. <laughs> they are really yodeling, but I did have somebody playing the dulcimer. We do need a few more people who have talent. Who's got talent? talent. Awesome. We'll check with you in, you know, right in between the break. We'll come see you. In addition to that, we're also going to have our banner parade. How many of you have club pride? Want to stand up with your club banner and make sure everybody knows about your club? Yeah. How about if you do it at lunchtime instead of 8 o'clock in the morning? Um, that's already set up. Oh, <laughs> ceremony. Oh, yeah. It's the opening ceremony, so it starts the opening and everybody comes in with their banner. I know. <laughs> Here's the next conference chair right there. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. We'll see what we can do. This year, however, it is, it is 8 o'clock in the morning. In addition, though, we do have the red carpet event. How many of you have your clubs achieved awards and things of that nature? Educational? Well, not educational awards for the club. The great thing about that is we'll have the red carpet where we will take pictures and come up as a club and receive your awards. How many people have received individual educational awards? Then you'll be getting information about the Achievers Breakfast. Yeah. Which is even earlier. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't want to get any more awards. <laughs> you should get awards anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to actually eat, go for the breakfast. You can just get the award. But if you go for the breakfast, then that's, that's an extra step. Now, we also have the really cool thing that I like is the fact that the winners from this contest today and all of the other division contests, guess where they're competing? Conference, Rachel. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> They're competing at the district conference. The Table Topics Contest will be Friday night at 8 o'clock. So that, you know, leaving work late is not a reason for not showing up. And it's right at Skokie, not too far from here. In addition to that, the International Speech Contest, which of course we all want to see who wins the International Speech Contest, because that person will go on to the regional contest in Las Vegas. Yeah. That contest will be held on Saturday, the 25th of April. Now, I know, I know, you were wondering about the price. Your club pays one price, and all of the members within the club 
and all of the guests of the club gets to go for that one price. Now, you guys have already missed the early bird special. It was 125. Now it's 145. And if you pay individually, it's 45. So you see the benefit of going as a club and having all those people that you know need Toastmasters, but they won't come on their own. This is a great time to invite them because then they get to see some really great speakers, some really good events, have a lot of fun. We're having power play. Wayne Mesmer is singing the national anthem, and he's doing an educational session too. So we have a lot of things that are going on for the spring conference. Now, how many of you are going to come? Now that you know how much fun we're going to have. How many of you can volunteer? Yeah, we need that too. Wow. Yeah, we need some volunteers too. We always love volunteers. I know. Rapidly. Rapidly. Oh, come on. We're, we're asking for a lot. Just a couple hours. Maybe one or two hours. Okay, so let's ask that question again. Who can volunteer? Maybe. All righty. Okay, better. I'll take a maybe. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Now, are there any questions? Yes. If somebody's really trying to build their club up and add new members, and having the ability to put in that early, not an early bird, but at least having their club monies in for, for the whole group, I think that'd be a great idea to keep people, bring your friends that you want to have join Toastmasters, see the best that we've got. Mm -hmm. You know, that'd be really a really good push to get them into it, you know? Robert, I think that's a great idea. But what time is the, the, the international contest? I didn't hear the time. The international contest is going to be at 2.15. It's a little, it shows up a little later on the agenda online, and we are going to update that. But it's going to be at 2.15. Great. Yes, Charles. Hey, Rachel, if I wanted to, could I wear a poodle skirt? Sure. <laughs> sure. We'll take OMG, I would love to see that. <laughs> um, Tim, don't forget to video him if he wears a cool shirt, okay? <laughs> Any other questions? Just a comment. Yes. There's a raffle, and your costume could win you a fabulous prize. <laughs> Well, that makes the poodle start more likely. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see that. Well, then I'm going to turn it back over to our Toastmaster, Rhonda. Thank you. Go ahead and talk break. A few more brief announcements. Next up, we will have the Northeast Division Governor, Kathy Stroh. She has a few announcements. Welcome all of you to the Northeast Division Contest as the Northeast Division Governor. I have great uh, support staff here, the contest chair and, and my Toastmaster, so I'm, I'm able to relax and enjoy the, the, the contest. But one thing, how many of you got one of those red ribbons when you first came in? Raise your hand real high. So what, it, what that means is they are first timers to a Toastmaster event. So I want to make sure that all my fellow Toastmasters that are around with them, or next to them, you uh, welcome them to Toastmasters and let them know uh, how important it is to you. So I think there's more than just that. We had like 10 ribbons, so don't hide. <laughs> so, so during the break, maybe some of the, you can talk to some of the Toastmasters and find out more about our, our organization. That was basically all that I had. Enjoy the rest of the contest. Thank you. Our last announcement will be from Barbara Beckley about an event she has coming up next week. Thank you, Rhonda. I'll make this real quick because I know people need to get water and stuff. But next week in the North in Lincolnshire, we're having what we call Unleashing the Leader Within workshops. There's going to be nine different workshops. In the morning and afternoon is 90 minutes for both. There's things like speech content <coughs> one-on-one, um, understanding your management skills, developing your management skills. There's gonna be a lot of different, different um, excuse me, sessions that's gonna be going on. <coughs> it's free. 
and it's for Toastmasters and non-Toastmasters. We want to invite people in so they know how we are as Toastmasters so you can really learn a lot. Also, everybody will get a small special gift if you do come. And there's going to be refreshments and food, of course. So it's going to be at the Aon Hewitt location in Lincolnshire. There's flyers in the back and also on Eventbrite. You can sign up for it for any sessions you want to go to. And please, please, please come and just enjoy the sessions. Thank you. And now you finally get to take a break. So everyone, please take a 10-minute break. Refreshments are in the back. Restrooms are through that door. And we'll